Okay, in chunk two, what we're looking at is constructing a tree diagram without replacement. So, in our question here, two people are selected without replacement from a group of three. So we've got three people, A, Annabelle, Brody, and Chris, A, B, C. List all the possible combinations for selection using a tree diagram. All right, so here's our first selection and our second selection our outcomes. So in our first selection we can have any of the three of them. Now when we've already chosen Annabelle we can't choose her again. We can only choose the other two. Similarly when we've chosen Brody we can choose Annabelle or Chris. And if we've chosen Chris we can choose Annabelle or Brody. So our outcomes are A, B, A, C, B, A, B, C, C, A and C, B. So we've got less. Okay, find the probability that the selection will contain one. So we've got our question B, we've got Annabelle and Brody. So we're looking for A, B or B, A. It's um, all BA, Annabelle and Brody. So we've got two chances on six, which is a third. Looking at our next question, B, it says find the probability that the selection will contain Chris. So we're just looking for all of our C's. So looking for all of the ones that have got C in them. I've got this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I've got C, 4 on 6, which is 2 over 3. And then finally, my last example is asking me how many Chris or Brody. So I've got Chris or Brody. Well, that's going to be everyone, doesn't it? Because it's, um, they've all got two people in there. So if we look through, we're looking for C or B. Every single one has got C or B in there. So... Chris or Bodie, the probability is 1. All right, let's have a look at the chunk 2 questions. So coming down here, it says two people are selected without the replacement from a group of three. So it looks like you're going to be doing very similar with Donna, Ellie and Fernando. So we're going to have three people here. It's without replacement. You've got your first choice is there. You're making a column with your second choice exactly like that example I did on the other day, on the other, just a second ago, with ABC, you're doing it with DEF. And then here you find the probability that you'll have both Donna and L in it. Next will be that the selection will control, control Fernando. And the last one, Fernando or L. So that is exactly what I've just done. And then your last one that you're looking at, your last problem here, a draw contains two red socks. So there's two red socks. You can see they've already got them in here. One blue sock and one yellow sock. So put a yellow Y in there for that. And two socks are selected at random without replacement. So they've already started your... Um, tree diagram here, do this in your book separately, do that um, second selection, then that is one, copy the complete trigram, and then you're going to find the probability of obtaining a red sock and a blue sock. So first of all, you need to count up all of your outcomes, find out what that, that they are and put that on the bottom of any fraction you're going to do. So after you've got your outcomes, how many are there and write down the uh, write down um, that on the bottom of the number. Find the probability of obtaining the first one a red sock and a blue sock. So you're looking for red, blue, or blue, red in your outcomes. Two red socks, you need RR. This one, any pair of socks of the same colour. So look for two letters the same, count up how many there are, stick it over the, toe, the end. And the last one, any pairs of socks of different colour. So any two combinations that aren't the same. When you've done that, there is, there are another couple of examples over here that you can have a go at. 
Um, they are the first one. I think they're both replacement. They are, there are three bottles of white wine and two bottles of red wine. The seller is too dark to eat the label, so two bottles are randomly selected one at a time. So this second one is without replacement. And the first one is a, to is a coin toss. So that one is with replacement. So when you do those, that is what you are going to be looking at.